Hi everyone, welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So iOS has been officially launched for about a week, and Apple has packed in so many changes that your iPhone is going to look and feel completely new. Now, one of the most fun updates is something that many of us have been waiting for, but when it came out, I heard lots of questions about it, and it's the ability to change your iMessage background. That means you can finally add some color and personality to your conversations, just like you can in apps like WhatsApp or Instagram Messenger. Today, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to set up a background for your text conversations, and I'll also share a few tips and warnings so you know exactly what to expect. Let's get started. So why would you want to change your iMessage background? Maybe you'd like your conversation with your best friend to feel more fun and playful, or maybe you'd like a calming background for your family group chat. And of course, it's a nice way to show your style, whether it's colorful, elegant, or even seasonable. But here's something important to remember. Whatever background you choose, the other person will see it too. So pick something you're comfortable sharing. This new feature works on iPhones that can update to iOS 26. For today's demo, I'm using my iPhone 15 Pro, but the steps are the same on any compatible iPhone. If you're not sure your phone is up to date, you want to head to the Settings app, tap on General, Locate Software Update, and be sure that you have iOS 26 installed. To change your background, you'll open the Messages app, and to customize it, you'll tap on the name at the top. It may be a person's name or the name of a group conversation. So tap on that. And now you'll see a new option called Backgrounds. Tap on that and you'll see some choices that you have. Right now you'll see I have checked None. You also have the option for photos. You can tap into that and then choose one of your photos, maybe a vacation picture or a picture of your grandkids. I'm going to tap the X. You can tap on colors and you can, you know, once I tap on colors, I can scroll through the different options of colors that I have. I can even tap on the different colors here at the bottom and change them up. So there's many options available to you in colors. Let me come back out by tapping the X. You can choose sky, water, or aurora. And these are all different themes of backgrounds that feel lively and relaxing. If you have a newer iPhone that allows for Apple intelligence, you can tap on playground and then generate a custom background. And so once you've done that, so I'm just going to go into colors and I'm going to just leave it on mango. I can swipe through to see the different colors. Once I find the style that I want, I'm going to go ahead and tap on the check mark in the upper right corner. Once I do that, the background is changed. I'll tap on the back button. And you'll see that your new background is right inside the conversation. You'll also notice that there is a message letting both people in the chat know that the background has been changed. Don't worry if you change your mind. This isn't permanent. You can always go back to the backgrounds menu and select none to reset it or just pick a new one. So I'm still inside the Messages app. I'll tap on my name. I can come here and tap on None. Once I do, it's automatically changed back to None, or I can choose another one if I'd like. And once I do that, I'll tap on the Back button, and you'll see that the conversation has been changed to None, 
and the message states that I have removed the background. This is one of these little updates that makes iOS 26 fun to use, but it's just the beginning. Apple has completely transformed iOS with tons of changes, big and small. One of the tips that I want to give you about this is that if you're in a group conversation or even a conversation with an individual, they can also change the background. So in my upcoming videos, I'll cover more of these new features in detail so you'll always feel confident using your iPhone. If you found this tip helpful, be sure to subscribe and tap the notification bell so you don't miss what's coming next. And if you want a handy PDF guide to follow along, join my newsletter at ellenstipsforios.com. I send one out every week with each video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.